promising to triple the manpower down here. That was the last promise that he made here in terms of uh, just human resources. I was out today. I saw a lot of boom out here that was just a mess, not very effective, not being monitored, not being set back up after the wind knocks it down. It's sort of what the oil industry puts out every time a disaster like this happens. Do, do you worry that some of this stuff is just out here to make us feel better, even though it's not very effective? Well, that would be tragedy on top of tragedy if people are being deceived that uh, the appearance that there's a serious effort to clean it up uh, is not being fulfilled with actual efforts. I think the federal government has a responsibility to see that every possible step is taken uh, to both shut down this well and to clean this mess up. I, mean, I happen to be a Floridian. Uh, I know how terrified people are uh, in my state as to what the potential consequences could be, potential which may in the next few hours become reality. Uh, the American government has a responsibility to its people uh, to protect them and to assure that when it licenses uh, an operation that it assumes the responsibility to see that that operation uh, is conducted at the highest levels of safety and capacity to respond uh, to realistically possible circumstances such as this certainly was. Uh, I think uh, that if there's not that full effort, the American people's outrage is fully justified. Mr. Riley, you, you of course are the former administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency, the former president of the World Wildlife Fund, but I have to say it is honestly, uh, it, is, it is discomforting to me that somebody who is co-chairing the inquiry into this disaster um, is also on the board of two oil industry companies right now. On, you're on the board of ConocoPhillips and of DuPont. It, is that a conflict of interest? Are you planning to step down from those boards, at least for the duration of the inquiry? Yes. The, the, there's been a filing with the SEC that I will take a leave of absence from the board of ConocoPhillips. DuPont is not an oil company. DuPont's a, uh, a very different company that has no interest in, in any issues that we're likely to address. Rachel, let me of, say, um, I have known Bill. Uh, yeah, Rachel, sorry, can I say something? I've known Bill please. for 25 or more years. He is a man not only of great intelligence and integrity, but a but a person who has a deep concern for the protection of our most treasured uh, environments. And I am proud to be serving with him. And I can tell you that the two of us and the other five members of this commission are going to do a thorough. Uh, a diagnosis, autopsy of this situation, and we're going to present where the facts lead our recommendations as to what can be done to give the American people the assurance that uh, this will never happen again. Senator Graham, I, I, don't, I don't ask the question in order to Im impugn Mr. Riley's integrity, by absolutely not by any means. What I'm concerned about is the ultimate implementability of recommendations of this commission and recommendations that I hope are going to be as stern as um, the scene down here is upsetting. Yeah. And the appearance of a conflict of interest or divided interests for having an association with a company like ConocoPhillips that frankly is in business with BP on drilling projects is something that I worry will affect the perceived integrity of the commission and the implementability of its, of Ray, its recommendations. Rachel, so I, Rachel, I, I understand. Yes, go ahead. Sir. Rachel, I just have to say, I, uh, that was the first issue I raised when I was asked to uh, take on this responsibility, whether it was consistent with my previous history. Now, I was given to understand that the president considered it an advantage, that I do know the industry and have experience with it. And if you have any question about uh, how I'm likely to approach this, look at the enforcement record that I established at EPA, uh, where we uh, assessed more fines and penalties in my four years than in the previous 18-year history of the agency. Absolutely. Mr. Bill Riley, uh, Senator Bob Graham, um, the two co-chairs of the National Oil Spill Commission looking into this disaster, uh, not only why it happened, but the failures that led it to be possible. Um, the country's looking to you both for uh, you. leadership and some boldness on this. And I, I thank you for your time tonight, sirs. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel.